Welcome back to PSG Tech Bytes. First of all, let me remind you to subscribe to this YouTube channel by pressing the red button in the lower right corner of this screen. That said, today I'm going to start a new series of episodes about the PMP Modern Search family of web parts. Those are open source web parts built by the community for the community that you can use to build a fully customized search experience for your end users. In fact, there are web parts like the search box, the search results, the search filters and the search verticals, and all of them are highly customizable. So, let me move to the demo environment and let me show you those web parts in action. This is the main documentation page of the PMP Modern Search uh, web parts family. Right now we are at version 4, as you can see, and here you can find plenty of information about how to configure these web parts, about how to use them, and about how to extend their settings. Now, here I have a site, a SharePoint Online Modern Team site, where I configured the PMP Modern Search web parts to provide a custom experience for the search results page. This is the home page and here I have a bunch of newspapers, quite old ones to be fair, that I wanted to index in my search index. So I can search for something like the name of my country and search in those newspapers. By clicking on the search button, I will be able to see the search result page, which is fully customized. As you can see, it's a page that I created in my site. And here I have the search box at the top. I have the search results web part in this area. And I have the search filters on the left side of my screen. And eventually, I, we will also see how to use the uh, search verticals in one of the upcoming videos. So, this is exactly the custom experience that you can give to your users, but the interesting part of the story is that, first of all, you can play with this UI, you can filter content, like, for example, you can say that you just want to get items uh, where the author is myself, uh, and you will get a filtered result. You can say that you want to retrieve items from a specific date, let's say from the 1st of January 2020 to the... Uh, 10th uh, of January 2020, for example. So let's go here and let's try to get the items in this date range. And as you can see, the search result web part will adapt the output accordingly to the filters. But as an editor of this page, you can also click on the edit button and you can easily customize the output of the search results. You can get a detailed list, you can get a slider, you can get plenty of different options for the output of your web part. And this is a really powerful way of building a custom search experience. In the upcoming episodes of the uh, NPSC Tech Byte video, we will see how to configure all of these web parts and how to create a fully customized search results page using the PMP Modern Search web parts. Like always, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting and I'm really looking forward to seeing you next week. Thank you.